seen on TV, the way the medical experts quarantine the sick people in case they have signs of coronavirus. Well, for your understanding, the quarantine measures in the fish farm are not too different. In aquaculture farming, quarantine is the method to isolate the sick or suspected sick fish. The purpose of this separation is that the sick fish don't spread the diseases to the other fish. Quarantine management is very important to keep the fish healthy at the farm. Following are some of the steps which you should take for the good quarantine management. Prevention is better than treatment, meaning that earlier you spot the unhealthy signs in your fish easier will it be to avoid the potential great loss in the form of a lot of dead fish which is mostly probably going to happen. Pay close attention to the fish behavior signs such as laziness, not eating the feed or some sort of injury. These are the signs you must pay attention to and remove such fish in the quarantine tank, pond or cage depending on what type of aquaculture operation you are dealing with. In quarantine, you must deal with the fish as if they are new to the farm. Some of the fish which will be recovered in quarantine could be introduced back to the production area. Once the environment of the fish is changed from the normal place to quarantine, they will take up to two weeks to adopt to the new water environment. So in case the fish is quarantined, you should manage and observe the fish for two to four weeks. The quarantine pond cage and tanks should not have any connection with that of the healthy fish in case of cross contamination through water equipment or pupil you are on your way to heavy loss of fish so you must avoid cross contamination at all cost in this section you will be walked through the different aspects in the farm management regarding biosecurity for the prevention of biological risks caused by lack of hygiene and the account of the risks which are involved in the good biosecurity management. Following are the different points which you need to consider while planning an approach towards the good biosecurity management. The location of the farm is extremely important. It is recommended that you don't build your farm in the location where there are too many other farms in the close vicinity. It would be a great idea to have a drink with the neighboring farmer, but unfortunately this is not recommended. You should not establish a farm near the human population as it can cause the challenges in the immunity of both humans and fish you are having at the farm. What type of diseases and infections are common in your region or area where you are operating or going to operate your farm is also very vital to plan the better management. You must have to have a complete plan of your different fish production steps while planning a production or for implementing the biosecurity plan. A clear understanding that which area belongs to which age group of fish is important. As the temperature ranges are different for different types of fish production, warm water fish is different than cold water and so on. For example, shrimp and salmon thrive in the salty water and tilapia don't. So it is very important to understand the species you are working with to have better lab possible to avoid the stress and disease risk at the farm. To put it straight in words, good water quality is key to success if you want to achieve good production. How to manage it at every step and its relationship with the other factors are important to consider while ensuring good water quality where fish is happy and growing. This will be discussed in great detail in the water quality video. 
What are the different types of organisms at your farm is very important to understand as you have to avoid the harmful bacteria and viruses in the farm. But there are also good bacteria types which naturally exist in the water. How to make the good bacteria thrive and bad ones to run away will be discussed later with more detail in recirculating aquaculture system videos. The food of the fish may go rotten and develop the fungus in the storage. This fungus just not only destroy the farm economy as it results in the loss of important resource but also harm the health of people working at the farm and that of fish in case you end up feeding the fish with the feed full of fungus. What type of food is brought by the pupil at the farm is also important to consider. Pay special attention to the potential hazard which may have been caused by the food such as raw fish or chicken in the farm as if they contain pathogens they may transfer to the fish or the pupil around. In case you are using the live feeds for the fish at your farm, you also need to consider what may happen if things go wrong with the live feeds. Properly disposing the dead fish is also important. Remove the dead fish immediately from your farm and dispose it in a proper place so that you don't end up spreading the bad smell in the neighborhood and also making sure that the infection don't spread from the dead fish. Hope you have enjoyed this video and previous videos. To stay updated about the upcoming videos and to keep learning, please subscribe to the channel. Let's bring aquaculture to next level with greater purpose and knowledge.